lot of the questions that I get from women as a tall girl is how do I find clothes at regular brands that actually cater to my frame? And guys, I'm going to tell you right now, I am a avid description reader. So in this video, I wanted to break down or show you guys some of the pieces that I got from five different places that don't necessarily cater to tall women. I'm going to show you guys some of the pieces that I got from these places and why I always get these particular type of items as opposed to something else. Now, you guys know I am six feet tall and the struggle is real. But let's jump right into the video and get into the first place that I absolutely love shopping at. You guys already know I love the Frankie shop. So for me at the Frankie shop, things that are a one size fit all or that are oversized are for me. But Here's some of the pieces that I got from the Frankie shop and I'm going to pop in a video or a photo of each item um, because I want you to see how it actually looks on my frame. Now this is the vest that they had. It's an oversized vest, right? I'm going to come a little closer. It's really, really bright. So this is one of their vests that was supposed to be like extremely oversized. It has a crisscross front here with a snap. Really, really nice. Um, this is a large. So this one actually came in a large size. Absolutely love it. It's supposed to be extremely oversized, but on my frame it's not. And I'll pop in a photo with me with that on. Now the way this vest fits me, I like. I didn't really want it to be super oversized because the way the shoulders were, I didn't want it to be like almost like Star Trek looking. <laughs> so I chose to get a large so it can fit my bust area as well as the shoulders. I didn't want to get anything too small because I didn't want it to be too tight in the bust area. I'll link this if they still have it. Now, if you know, you can't even see, I'll show you on something else, but some of the Frankie Shop items do come with the tag that says the Frankie Shop, okay? And then some does not. So in this case, you probably can't even see it because it's so bright. This one says the Frankie Shop. And then the other top that I got is their Sabi top. Let me tell you, I wore this for a brand shoot for my style services on my website. Love this top. I'm going to pop in a photo. So it looks really oversized. The sleeves are kind of like balloonish. But when it's on, girls, like I wanted to come back in stock in black. I think it's still out of stock. But the way that the top fits, you'll see it in the, in the photo or the video. Absolutely love the way the top fits. It's just a nice balloon sleeve, but the bottom of the shirt actually fits you kind of nice and like fitted. I don't want to say tailored, but it's a, definitely a fitted look. If you notice, I do go for things that are on the lighter side because ivory and cream are my colors. So I go for things that are lighter, but the Frankie Shop is one place that I absolutely love shopping. It's not, again, a tall girl friendly brand, but don't sleep on them girls definitely think about checking them out and really combing through the website and seeing what they have for us you can wear a top from them you can probably wear an oversized blazer from them and you can also wear skirts from them let me grab a skirt so when it comes to their skirts and things read the description as well on these because Sometimes they will actually put small, medium, large, right? If there's not a small, medium, medium, large situation, they will put the waist measurements. I'm not going to lie. Their measurements on the waist is so small. So if you are anything over, I want to say a 32, it might not fit even in a large. But something like this that has like an elastic can fit. This is from the Frankie shop. I got a large in this. This is one of the ones that does not say the Frankie shop. This is by Rose, Rose Malau, <laughs> it's, it's Ben. So something like this, it's a really nice piece from the Frankie shop. I'll show you guys a picture with me with this on as well. So again, I try to go for pieces as opposed to outfits sometimes. And that is solely because Guys, I don't want to look like every single tall girl out there. Most of the tall girls really do shop at the same brands. I just don't. So I always make regular brands work for me. And finding unique pieces is one of the things that I absolutely love to do. So when it comes to their jackets, it's a go for us. 
only their jackets that are one size fit all because they may run a bit, a bit small because they like to add shoulder pads. And if something is like a bomber style jacket and it doesn't go up to an extra large or it's oversized, you're not gonna get that look. The sleeves are likely going to be a too short, okay? This leather coat, I have not worn it yet because the weather is just so like in between in Atlanta. So the jacket that I have on now is another designer. I'll let you guys know in a second what that is. But beautiful coat, made really, really well. Right, it's made really, really well. And the sleeves are so long. If you are a girl who's under six feet, this is gonna be a huge jacket. It is the look that they're going for on the model. However, if that's not your thing, don't do it. This is just long enough for a girl who's six feet tall to where their hands are covered. Like that's not even like a thing for us often. But a beautiful, beautiful jacket. So their skirts, their tops, their jackets, their coats. You guys know I just bought a coat from them. Actually, I have three coats from the Frankie shop. I'll pop in a photo. I have an oversized, like, it looks like an 80s vibe coat and it has shoulder pads. I also have one of their trench coats, which is oversized, and one of their wool coats. Beautiful, beautiful coat. I did mention this before that the wool coat and ivory, it's not really, I'm not gonna say that it's, it's a coat because it's very thin as opposed to coats that I used to purchase in New York. Lining does not go all the way, you can't even see. It's so light, but the lining stops literally right here. It's not a thick coat. Like, I can see my hands through it, but we can fit these. It's really large, it's oversized, it has shoulder pads, um, and it's good, it's good for us. So this is what I talk about when I say, shopping for regular brands and making it work for me. This is what I do. <laughs> I cannot shop a tall girl brand and it's no shade to them girls. It's just that I like things that are stylish and a lot of their stuff is very, very simple. Um, and I know it has a lot to do with budget. I get it. But there are things that we can wear at regular brands and make it work for us guys. The next place that I love to shop is Mango. It's a high street brand. People would say it's fast fashion, but if you're shopping, if you're gonna shop fast fashion, in my opinion, you wanna buy things that you could wear multiple times and that are great in quality. Mango, I buy their skirts and I'll buy their cardigans depending on the size. If they go up to an extra large, I definitely get it. If they don't, I may chance it depending on the style and how the item is made. These two pleated skirts, when I tell you I had these for years now, they have not like shed, they have not, I don't even know, peeled or anything. Really, the inside is like a, I don't know, it's just like some faux material, but they're faux leather. I had them for a really long time, guys. They have not messed up on me, like literally. So when it comes to buying fast fashion, I'm not gonna say I'm against it, but I wanna get things that I know that I can wear multiple times. Um, if it's something that's a bright color, like those dag on Jimmy Choo shoes, I have to figure out a way to wear them because they're really bright and they don't go with the majority of my wardrobe. However, since I have a ton of neutral colors, it can go with that. But I'll go for the like pleated skirts. They don't have these anymore, but if they do come back in stock, guys, this is one place I would recommend getting pleated skirts from that are faux leather. They don't stink. They don't have like that weird faux leather smell. These are just made really, really, really well. And I had them for some years now. They're long. So if you're not into long skirts, then don't get it. But I'm thinking about getting two more and having my tailor cut them. If I can find some that are similar in style from Mango or even from another designer, but, and get them cut to like a nice mini length for a tall girl. And I don't mean mini like the short girl mini. I mean like when I put my hand down, 
it's it's midi enough to where I can wear like really really tall boots and not feel uncomfortable. Full of the pleated skirts I love to get from Mango. Not necessarily meant for tall women, but it does fit our frame. The other skirts I would say would be their satin skirts. Okay, when it comes to buying satin skirts, there's good quality ones and then there's like terrible quality ones. <laughs> so make sure you're looking at that. If you're getting like a full 100% satin skirt, you shouldn't have a problem. But if you go for something that is silk, you'll be like A1. Now these are satin, but I think they are pretty good in quality. I had them for over, mm, over two years now. Really nice. I've styled these with red boots. I've styled them with chunky boots. Like I'll show you guys pictures of those as well. So I've styled them with a bunch of things that you normally wouldn't style with a satin skirt. Now when I did wear it with the chunky boots, I went for more of a kind of like rugged look at the bottom and more of a like tailored fit at the top. So when it comes to mixing your styles, I think that's a really good way to add a little bit of pop to your outfit. Something a little bit more feminine as a satin skirt with like chunky big boots. Uh, so skirts are like I said another thing that I absolutely love to get from Mango. So if you like this video so far make sure you are hitting that like button guys. Alright so let's get into the next one. The third place I love to shop at is Zara. Again Zara is considered fast fashion as well but the same as Mango you want to find pieces that are different and that are good quality. This dress situation here <laughs> I'll show you guys a picture. This was really, 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 really great quality. It's a really nice, just, I don't know, some people wear it as a coat. You could wear it as a jacket. You could wear it as, uh, I'm sorry, as a cup, as a cover up, like a, not a cover up. <laughs> you could wear it as a third layering piece. Um, really, really nice. So when it comes to shopping at Zara, I look at those things. Sometimes Zara will get like designer collaborations in there. You want to check those things out because the quality be really good. They used to do this at H&M, but they stopped. Um, but things like this I buy at Zara. I also like to buy Zara's knitwear. Now granted I got this sweater situation dress. I don't even know what the heck it's called. It fits me like a sweater. <laughs> but I got this from Qatar. Really, when I tell you this sweater thingy is so nice. I'll pop in a, a photo of me wearing this as well. But this sweater is so nice. When I got this in Qatar, I'm going to come closer so you guys can see the detail. When I got this in Qatar, I was like, I've never seen anything like this in America. Like, literally. Really, really nice sweater. Um... It could be a dress, guys, but you know I'm torn. <laughs> but it's really, really good quality. So things like this I look for, and hence the reason why I go for colors that I know I can wear in multiple ways, and nothing that's like extremely, extremely bright. Um, and that's just because it's a fast fashion brand. So their sweaters are another thing that I like to go for at Zara, as well as their blazers and skirts. All right, so let's get into the blazer first. This blazer is like, you can't even see it. It's a beautiful, it's like a satin, but it has like this little, I don't know, something about this that just reeks that it costs money. It has a little bit of shoulder pads, very, very nice. I can come up close, but you can't really see the detail. It's like a tuxedo satin blazer. The buttons are satin as well, but a really, 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 really nice jacket. So when I buy things that are from a fast fashion brand, I'm always taking them to the dry cleaners. That is because at the end of the day, I don't care how cheap something is. And this was like 119. Doesn't matter. I still want to care for it. It's because I paid my money for it. Okay. So, so blazers are another thing that I like to buy at Zara. Not all blazers fit us well. So you have to be careful when you are buying them. If you're a tall girl, make sure you're trying them on. Make sure you're looking at the seam. 
of the shoulder make sure it's not too short on you um, if you're going for something oversized it can definitely be over your shoulder but if you want something that fits you tailored pay attention to the line here and on your shoulder when you have it on Another thing is their skirts. So their fold leather is pretty decent as well, like mango. I had this skirt for, I mean, like, I had to have had this since 20, hmm, maybe tw we in 2023, maybe 2019, 20, 2018 possibly. But I'll show you guys this as well. Really nice, it has a slit in the back. And I'll be honest, sometimes I wear this backwards. <laughs> but it's a really nice skirt. Really, really nice. It doesn't look that well on camera, but it's actually a really, really nice skirt in person. And it also does not have a smell. Any faux leather that you buy and it stinks, you might not wanna keep it, all right? So skirts are another thing that I like to buy from Zara. The other piece from Zara that I like to shop and buy are their graphic tees. Only the graphic tees that have really good detailing that's stitched. If it's not one of these, I'm not going to get it. And that's solely because I don't like the quality of those. But these seem to have really good cotton and the t-shirt is just made really, really well. So don't skip out on their t-shirts. They have really nice graphic tees as well. Nice little designs. Um, go for something that has a stitching here. Like I said, let me see if I can come close you guys can see it's like engraved really really nice so check out their t-shirts as well at Zara it's not a ton of things I like to get from there other things would be like their basics very very simple their tank tops um, jeans are another thing I'll pop in a photo <sighs> when it comes to their jeans as a tall woman you have to read those details they're full length jeans that are extra long will fit someone at max six feet tall. I have a f quite a few pair of jeans from Zara that are long and I want to say that they're like a 35, maybe 34 and a half inseam, uh, but they fit really, really well. I usually size up and then get them tailored, but don't sleep on their jeans, guys, if you are a tall girl. If you're 5'9", you should be able to fit them unless you have really long legs, but Zara jeans are pretty good. They're full length jeans. That's the last type of item that I like to get from Zara. So let's get into the next brand. The next place I love to shop is a new designer that's not necessarily tall girl friendly, but they do have pieces that will fit my frame. Again guys, each of these places are not tall girl friendly, but they do have pieces that fit us. It just takes a little bit of research and time to do this. It may seem like a lot for some, but I've been doing it since I was small, a young teen, so it doesn't bother me. So, Lamarck, you guys know I love Lamarck's blazers. Absolutely love Lamarck. I have on a Lamarck blazer right now. If you guys can see, this is, this is their oversized uh, Felina blazer, and I have three of them. Do I, do I have three or do I have four? Child, I don't even know. Maybe three. I think I have three. Well, I have four because I have it in black as well. <laughs> so, <laughs> so this is the brown and the green one. Holiday colors. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful blazers. Made really, really well. One of them is a large and one is an extra large. Actually, both. Oh, I'm lying. One is a medium and one is a, a large. So I have medium and large. The medium does fit. I think this is a medium that I have on. It fits really nice. It's not a um, tailored fit, but it's oversized. Uh, but Lamarck has really, really, really nice jackets. I talk about these all the time. If you can get your hands on any of them, do so, okay? This is not sponsored. I wish they did sponsor me because <laughs> I want like two more. But their jackets are really, really, really nice. I, as far as anything else on the website, I have not purchased. But these, these are king. So Leather Blazers from Lamarck is another place that I love to shop at. And again, I'm not buying everything from these websites. It's just specific pieces that I know that can fit my frame. Six feet tall, not the biggest girl, pretty slim. 
Um, so yeah, Lamarck is another place that I absolutely love. Let's get into the last place that I love to shop as a tall girl that's not tall girl friendly. And the last place is ALC. So ALC is would be considered more on the, I don't wanna say high street because they are not that cheap, but they have really nice faux leather pants. And I have on a pair right now. I don't know if you guys can see, I don't have any shoes on. <laughs> um, but their pants are really, really nice. Now, when I initially bought them, because I bought two pair, I bought an ivory color. That's like a, mm, it's not really ivory, but it's more of like a beige, like a beige color. I did get my tailor to come, actually, she didn't take these down, she took these down. There's room inside the pants for you to actually take down if you need more room, if you are a girl who's six feet tall. I'm gonna pop in a photo with them on. I don't think I ended up getting these tailored. I'll get the hem taken out, um, because the ones that I have on, I can tell the bottom is different. So you can definitely have your tailor take out the extra room that they have. And the reason why I'm saying to do that is solely because you want to wear heels with it. If you do decide to wear a flat, you may not even like how it looks, to be quite honest. Um, but if you wore a point, maybe. Uh, so ALC's fold of the pants are really, really good. Now, they are pricey. So for some who don't like to spend that much on faux leather, which I didn't. But what, as a tall girl, the struggle is so real for us that I literally have to spend more money to buy things that I want. As opposed to just going ahead to a tall girl brand and getting something that is, like, not made the best. Okay? Um... So for me, I you know I, I buy what I want and what looks good on me, and that works well with my wardrobe. I got a brown pair, and I got this color here, and I wear them a ton of ways and a ton of times. <laughs> the other thing I love to get from them are their their blazers. This is a tuxedo blazer. It has like a satin lapel, and the buttons on here are also like satin really nice it's oversized it's not super super oversized i think i did a video showing you guys some of my favorite blazers um and how to style them so i'll pop in a video or something with this on but i absolutely love it like when i say try out these brands guys try them out you could always return something if they have a store in your city go try this stuff on see what works well with your frame we don't have to be stuck shopping at specific brands because we're limited when it comes to clothes i have seen girls go to a plus size section and buy something like in the smallest plus size and get it tailored so it really just depends on your style and if you really care that much to even go that route or just shop at a tall girl brand so this video is for the girls who want to try something different and who don't necessarily want to be stuck and pigeonholed and shopping at a particular brand i hope that helps you guys in this video my goal for this video was to let you guys know that you do not have to be pigeonholed to shopping at strictly tall girl brands you can definitely try shopping at brands that don't necessarily cater to us and making that item work for you thank you guys for tuning into this video if you stay to the end of this video please comment coco we see you and guys don't forget to follow me on instagram at coco styles nyc and coco styles ny and my personal style blog coco styles nyc and my personal style services coco styles ny.com and guys i am gonna link my blog for you guys to take a look at and i'm always gonna link my style guides for those of you ladies who are looking to build a wardrobe in easy steps and have some guidance through that process so thank you guys for tuning in and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye guys